Good morning, Word Nerds. Uh, so actually, this is my second time recording this video because the first time I did it, I made a mistake and <laughs> so I'm re-recording it. So I'm going to try to go a little faster this time. Let's go ahead and read our sentence. It's from the book Malala's Magic Pencil and it says, How could a few men stop all the girls in our valley from going to school? And it ends in a question mark. Okay, if it ends in a question mark, then that means it has to be, has to be an interrogative sentence. So if you think of the word interrogate, interrogative, interrogate is like um, a police officer sitting in a room with a suspect asking them questions to figure out if they did the crime. So it, that's like interrogate. Interrogative means a question. So we'll skip all the rest of it for now, go back here. Um, we've got a lot of weird parts of speech in this sentence this week, so let's go look for any of our nouns. Okay, how could a few men, okay, men, those are people, um, but this is a group of men, a group of men. It's not even just plural, it's a group of men, so we're going to call that a collective noun. It is a collection of men, collective noun. Some other examples of collective nouns are mice, geese, um, those are just the two that are coming to mind, but you could probably come up with a few more ideas in your head. Stop all the girls, oop, girls are people, and it ends with an S. So it's a little different than men because girls has an S on it. So this is a plural noun, not just collective, because girls could be two girls, it could be 40, it could be 7,000, we don't really know. So we're just going to call it plural. In our valley, a valley is a place, so that's just a regular noun, from going to school. School is also a place, so that's also just a regular noun. All right, so we've got a couple of nouns. Let's look for our verbs, our actions. Okay, we've got how could a few men stop. Ooh, stop is a good one. That's a definite action, so we've got a verb right here. All the girls in our valley from going, going is an action, to school. Fun fact though. There's actually another verb in this sentence, and it's kind of a weird one that most of us wouldn't expect. I don't know if you can guess which word it is, but it's actually the word could, because could is the past tense of the word can. We would think of the word can as a verb for the most part, mo many of us would, but we wouldn't necessarily always catch could. Could is past tense of the word can, so it's also a verb. All right, let's look for describing words, either words that describe a noun, which would make it an adjective, or words that describe any other part of speech, which would make it an adverb. So how could a few men, oh, that's describing how many. Men is a noun, so few is an adjective. All the girls. <clears throat> so all is also giving an amount. So an amount of girls, which is a noun, so it's another adjective. And we do have an adverb in here that's a little hard to catch, and it's the word how. A uh, how is a special kind of adverb. Um, I think how is kind of describing the word could. So it's describing a verb and a little more complicated. So let's look at the remaining words. We have a, v, in, our, and from, and to. We know a and the are those short words called articles, a, an, or the. Article and another article. We have in, our, from, to. Our, we know, replaces a group of people. So this is something that replaces a noun. So that is a pronoun, instead of listing everyone that lives in the valley. We have in, from, and to. Now at this point, you probably started to memorize that these specific words are prepositions. It's helping show the positioning, the girls to the valley, the valley to the going, and the going to school. So. These are all prepositions. Preposition. 
So that also means in our valley is a prepositional phrase, from going is a phrase, and to school is a prepositional phrase. Preposition. And last but not least, a preposition. So our sentence structure. We don't have any conjunctions, so that means it's not a compound word. And then if I look at what we have here, how could a few men stop all the girls? It just keeps on going. There's not really a piece that sounds like it depends on another piece. I know you guys this week are working on dependent clauses, independent clauses, simple complex compound sentences. This is a simple sentence. It's just a really long simple sentence. All right, subject and our predicate. So our predicate is the main action of the sentence, and our subject is who's doing it. So I look at the verbs could, could's not really the main one. Stop, I think so, because if you think about it, the stopping is what's connecting to all the rest of it. So the other verb in the sentence is going, and going isn't really the main idea. So stop, and who's doing the stopping? The men, men stop. All right, we got it done, and actually this video was four minutes shorter than my last one, so you guys got a good deal. Bye, have a great afternoon.